sword friends just wanted to make a video and speak to you guys directly uh, to let you know that I'm still here I'm still doing sword stuff I don't always do it on camera and whatnot but yeah I just thought I'd do some cutting and uh, do some chatting try to catch up on a little bit with what's going on with me and let you guys know that I've still been watching your videos but uh, I've been focusing on different different platforms YouTube's never done very well for me Using my uh, POS Sinosword Unikubi Sakuri. Even though it's a POS, I, re I really like this sword. I only paid 80 bucks for it, but it's it's sharp. So yeah, like I said, haven't been focusing on YouTube. YouTube's never done very really well for me. Um, I do have a lot going on on uh, Instagram, and TikTok was kind of popping off for a minute. But TikTok, they do not like sword knife even throwing knives or guns I mean it's it's hit and miss it's, it's wild oh that was good there we go started off right that was dumb <laughs> maybe I should have warmed up first huh yeah um so yeah, I've had a lot of uh, big things going on for me in the knife throwing world. I've been, really been focusing on that, especially all winter. Um, focusing on my trick shot edit, which did not do well at all. On my channel, it's got like 300 views maybe. Adam Cheladine, uh, probably the most famous knife thrower in the world because of YouTube. He, he uh, posted a video for me and it got like 12,000 views, so that was pretty cool. But I put a lot of time and uh, money and effort into that video, so it's kind of a shame that it didn't do very well. But yeah, still into sword stuff. I've still I've been following a lot of you guys. Um, I've noticed that some people are completely gone from the scene as far as YouTube videos and sword videos and whatnot, such as. Uh, uh, Oh, what was his name? Katana Fanboy. I think I've noticed that he doesn't make videos anymore. Uh, I saw that Seth is back. That's pretty cool. I saw the Backyard Samurai deleted his channel. I'm still friends with him on Facebook. We talk here and there. Um, Eric is still at it every day, like a boss. Love that. The new Eric is killing it as well. Carl's still doing his thing, love that. Captain Electro still doing his thing, love that. We we talk pretty often. Uh, Bushi Modder, I've seen him make a few videos recently. Um, yeah. So basically, I still want to do. You know, I have uh, the annual knife throw danger fest every year, and the past couple years we got some sword people to come. Oh yeah, Adam Novath, still talk to him a little bit. He's not really doing content anymore, but he he doesn't live too far from me, so it's pretty cool to see him every once in a while. But yeah, danger fest. Um, as long as Eric Hussein is still up for it, uh, I am so busy during that that uh, he is gonna come up with the curriculum to have a little sword cutting competition. Nothing super serious or anything. Just some regular backyard cutting. And uh, I'm gonna let him come up with whatever he wants. I'm gonna have some suggestions here and there, but it's gonna be totally up to him. That way I don't have to stress out about it. <laughs> That's pretty wild. I don't think I've seen that one before. So. Looking forward uh, to that. We got plenty of room for camping, hanging out. You're you're welcome to come and uh, learn how to throw knives or even compete if you want. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, like I said, I got some things going on for me finally, um, and I'm, I'm really excited. I got some knives that are being manufactured, my designs being manufactured for me. 
uh, a company reached out to me and uh, it's super exciting. It's been a it's been a dream of mine to do that. So I've been uh, focusing on that recently. So yeah, a little out of practice, huh? Whack the shit out of this stand, which isn't very good for this. It had a little bit of a set in it before. <clears throat> see what else did I want to talk about yeah the, uh, the throwing knife stuff hoping to have that finalized within about another month or so it's difficult because the guy that I'm working with lives in a different country and he's outsourcing the knives he's not a maker himself he's just funding everything owns his own pretty reputable company so Really excited about that. I'll be showing you guys uh, those pretty soon. What's been going on with you guys? Hopefully you guys still see some of my videos. I know that some of you might not be as interested in the knife throwing stuff. But, uh, it's basically my life, man. It's all I that's all I do. I should have wrote some stuff down that I was trying to remember to talk about. Oh, love it. Um, for those of you that don't know, I haven't been making a whole lot of sword videos, but I have been um, practicing Kenjutsu. Uh, uh, not last, not this past January, but the January before, I was following a gentleman on uh, on Instagram for a while, and he was doing like sword demonstrations and whatnot. And I ended up asking him, like, where where are you located? He says Warsaw. I was like, Warsaw, Indiana. He says, Yeah. I was like, Dude, that's like 30 minutes from me. So immediately I went and uh, sat down, and they did it. I just watched class, you know. And uh, after their class. I got to do a throwing demo for them, and they actually throw some. Uh, it's a Bujinkan Taijutsu school. So that was really cool, and then I've been friends with them and going there ever since. I'm not officially a student, but I do try to go once a week. You know, it's, things have been a little hard with COVID and whatnot, but it's, uh, it's super fun. You know, I've always imitated all my uh, sword stuff from watching videos and movies and stuff. And it's, it's really been eye-opening to go and learn from someone who's been doing it for like 30 years and uh, learn why you do things, you know? So it's been, it's, it's super fun. I, I really enjoy it. I'm no good at any of the uh, Taijutsu stuff. That's frustrating. But whenever we do some weapon stuff, I feel like I'm not bad. I'm no, not, not good by any means, but I'm not bad. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, um, I, I, I don't watch YouTube as much as I used to because um, I have a lot of knife throwing friends and I interact with them on a daily basis. So for me to bounce around from app to app and watch all videos is impossible. So if you're watching this and you really want me to see a video that you've done or, or I'm involved or insp inspired or a challenge or something, please tag me or um, even better, send it to me in Messenger or whatever. That way I, I, I can see it and it's not glossed over. Because I, I don't mean to, man. I I think I've made some uh, pretty good friends within the sword community. You, you guys are pretty cool. 
So, yeah. Again, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I love this sword, piece of shit, but I like it. Not the straightest thing either, but whatever. I got one more small bottle, then I got five, five or six jugs here, and we'll try to do, I don't know, something, but let's try. Yeah, almost. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much, talk a bunch of bullshit. See if we can get a proper, proper horizontal here. My, my biggest weakness, proper horizontal. Oh, I got a challenge for you. The fatter, the fatter Gatorade jugs, I've never seen anyone, and I've never done it, cut one horizontally clean. Or not, I mean, not even a static, just cut it clean. Man, every time I've tried it, I've launched it into my house, I've dented my siding. My landlord's not gonna be too stoked about that, but I learned that you're supposed to keep your shoulders horizontal. My biggest problem with that cut is how to keep your Hasuji edge alignment. Always end up scooping it somehow. All right, here's the finale. I guess I'm just gonna try to get two. I imagine this is gonna bounce. So we'll go one, two. Thanks for watching. I'm still here. I'm still watching. Tag me if you want. Peace.